Hey guys, what is going on? It is your good buddy Sam and it is time once again for another exciting Max MSP tutorial. I know what you're thinking, it has been a long time since the last video. It has been, uh, I think, almost six months now, which is a little bit crazy. And you may be wondering not only why it's been so long, but also what we're going to talk about today. Well, the answer to both those questions happens to be one in the same. The answer is, of course, Mira. So Mira is the iPad app that I've been working on for, uh, I don't know, I think last time I checked, 600 million years. Yeah, I've been working on Mira since the um, Mesozoic era. Uh, back when there were nothing but ferns and dragonflies on, on the earth. And um, what it is, is very simply an iPad controller for Macs. Um, you know, you're looking at your patch and you're like, God, this patch is so great, but I wish I could just touch it. I want to, it's so, it's so beautiful. I want to reach my fingers into the screen and stroke its lovely curvaceous buttons, is I'm sure what you're thinking as I so often do. And the iPad app Mira is an answer to, is a solution to that problem that problem for crazy people. So if you want to solve that problem for crazy people, if, if you're one of the crazy people who needs a solution to that problem, um, what you should do is go to cycling74.com, go to the products page, and go to the new product page for Mira, and you need two things to get started. You need to get Mira from the App Store, as this says here, which will install the app on your uh, on your iPad. And the other thing that you need is to, this here, download a package of supporting files. So if you click download a package of supporting files, um, what you will get, you will get this uh, mira.zip uh, archive. And when that's finished unzipping, you can open up the disk image and you will be treated to, well, <laughs> I guess if you have, um, if you have hidden files showing like I do, you'll get this interesting kind of um, folder vomit all over your um, screen here. All you need to do is drag this Mira folder into packages. Um, oh, evidently I've already done that. But and what that will do is just install the Mira package in your Max folder and then you are good to go. Launch Max as you always would. And once Max finishes launching, um, you, know, you can launch Mira on your iPad as well, I guess. And the way that the thing works is it's a Wi-Fi connection. So as long as Max and Mira are on the same Wi-Fi, you should just be able to make a Mira.frame object. This is a Mira.frame object. And this little green light will turn on when the two are connected. And now everything that falls within this rectangle that is a Mira-supported object will be displayed on my iPad. So I could throw in a few buttons and look, there they are. Um, uh, I can make one of these buttons super big. So now I can tap it over here, and it gets tapped over here, very exciting. Um, I can make a sweet multi-slider object with, I don't know, a million billion sliders. Now nah, let's do a thousand. Let's see if this works. Really hope I don't make anything explode here. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, what a, what a thing of beauty that is. Look at this multi-slider party that we're having over here. Look at that multi-slider, multi-touch. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Um, and that's it. Uh, have fun, you know, play around. Uh, if you make multiple Mira.frames, each one will be um, its own tab on the Mira app. So I can throw some, I don't know, like a dial. Or, yeah, why not? A live slider, some number boxes. And now you see I got two frames that I can jump back and forth between uh, over here on the iPad. So that's a super quick intro to Mira and uh, how to get started with it. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch more tutorials, kind of showing you some more cool things that you can do. Um, but in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, feel absolutely free to send me, um, if you enjoy your experience with Mira, if you hate your experience with Mira, um, get in touch. We'd love to hear about it. Especially, you know what, either way, if you, if you feel strongly, if you feel either um, rancor or deep, deep amorous affection, I would love to know about it. Um, in any case, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you uh, next time.